Good morning. Uh, today's recipe is slow cooker chili. Now, it's 25 after 8. I just got back from the store. I have to be at work at 11 o'clock. Um, I'm starting to do more slow cooker meals. Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, you know, I get home after work. I don't know about you. I'm tired. I don't feel like whipping up something gourmet. Uh, slow cooker gives you the option. You can do cheap. You can use cheaper cuts of meat. Uh, it's nutritious. And if you plan it, you can come out really good price. Like all of this for tonight, um, for that, I'm going to show you the slow cooker right there. And this is going to fill that right up, just about to the top. Then the entire thing costs $15 Canadian. So, just a quick overview. So you need about two pounds of a cheap cut. This morning I got outside round. I, okay, you need one onion, a big can of kidney beans, two cans of diced tomatoes, um, a can of tomato paste. For the seasonings, I'm going to need some of my chili oil. And as you can see, yes, I really do use this stuff. I'm down to the sludge. Which Here is the garlic oil uh, that I made the other day. You can already see it start to clarify. I've got some cheap, you know, cheap chili powder yeah, I use. A little bit of salt. And here I'm going to put in a plug for uh, some Marie Sharp's habanero sauce. This stuff is wonderful. I buy it at a place, some really nice people. Uh, first thing to do is get the beans draining, okay? Because these are coated in a mungy substance uh, called disodium EDTA, okay? And I'll show you when I rinse them what it looks like. So you see some froth coming out. You can see that in the sink. That's the chemicals they soak these things in. So what you do is just rinse it till it's not frothing up anymore. So I've got the onion peeled and chopped, just a rough dice there. Okay, so first thing is put the onion into the bottom of the crock pot. Okay, so just basically evenly distribute the onion in the bottom. Sprinkle that with just a little bit of salt over to help the water come out, add a bit of flavor. All right, so wash your hands well, or use gloves, because you will be handling this meat a lot during the prep. Okay, so just, I always try to eyeball and pick the best one I can that's got the least amount of fat and gristle. Okay, so get your cleaver cut through the threads. Take that out. Okay, now I try to kind of eyeball where the gristle is. There's the worst fat. So I'm just going to take that right off. You do want a bit of fat and gristle in here. Uh, it will tenderize over time and it will add a bit of flavor to it. You just want the huge, huge nasty chunks out like that. And if you see any veins and whatnot, try to get those out too. Okay. So, just start chopping. Okay, I'm looking for around this size about an inch or so squares okay so what I will do is I'll just do one piece for you quick this is a little odd sized but and then they don't have to be perfect it is chilly and these actually as they tenderize will break up by themselves so I wouldn't worry about it too much okay so the trim is done this is how much is going to be going in the garbage Okay, not too bad. So the next step is to fry up the meat quickly in the seasonings. A spoon, there's probably a couple of teaspoons of the sludge from the bottom of the chili oil. A couple of tablespoons of the garlic oil. Two or three. There you go. And I do want to pick out a bit of that nice caramelized garlic from the bottom. Okay. Okay, so when the chilies and the garlic start frying, that's when I put the meat in. Give that a quick brown once over. Okay, so there's my quarter cup of generic chili powder.
You always want to fry the chili powder. That's why I put a bit more oil than you usually would think would be good. Um, it helps to reduce the harshness and mellow out the flavor of the dish at the end. Now here's a little trick for the tomato paste. You open both ends of it, okay? Squeeze one, pull that off, and then just push it straight through, and then pick off the other piece. Last but definitely not least is the Marie Sharp's habanero sauce. Now this is definitely to taste, okay, and I'm laughing while I'm saying this because you really should taste this first. This is hot, okay. If you don't like hot food, don't slather it on. Be very cautious. But I just eyeball it and do one good splat like that to cover and that works out just great. For this, I got a spoon because I don't want to lose any of this, not even one piece. Plus it makes a heck of a mess. So you don't want to be adding liquid. It's very, very tempting to rinse this pan out right now. But trust me, if you do it, you'll be sorry when you get home for dinner. Look at that, okay? And you scrape, you scrape the pan clean with the spatula and get all of that seasoning down in there. All right. Next is the kidney beans. So I just opened the can and this is what it looks like. Now I've drained these by uh, pushing the lid down into the contents over the sink and you can see that's how much liquid has come out. This is important to uh, keep the consistency of the chili. Okay, so it's 856. Uh, I started at 8.26, so prep was exactly half an hour. Uh, realistically speaking, it would have taken me probably 20 minutes, 15-20 um, minutes to put this together if I had been doing it just by myself without explaining anything to you. So, um, I'm going to put this on low, and I'll come back and give it a stir right before I go to work. Okay, so it's been about, it's been in for a little over an hour and a half. I have to get uh, cleaned up and get off to work in a minute. Okay, so you can see the condensation on. Alright, that's looking nice. Put that down quick. And I will, yeah, just give it one good, nice stir. Because I do want to show you, even after only this time at low, the meat is cooked. It's not tender yet but it's getting there. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick close-up shot before I go here. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, when I push down into it, you can see how much liquid is already starting to come out. So if you want a good consistency on your chili, this is why you never, never add liquid to it. Okay, so lid back on, off to work. See you later. So I'm back from work, had a short shift today, so it's been seven hours since we took a look at it last. Steam's coming off. Well, that looks like it's just cooked down nice. Let's get in there. Yeah. Now you can see even here that it's a little watery. And I put some in a bowl to get a good look at the consistency. Okay, so what I'm really looking to check out here, yeah, the onions are definitely cooked. The beans are cooked. Um, I'm looking to see, i two forks here. I'm looking to see if the meat is flaking. Yeah, the meat is flaking, it's perfectly tender. Okay, so it's definitely ready to eat now. Uh, I don't have to eat right this minute. I could if I wanted to. I'll just leave it on low until I'm ready to eat dinner. And the flavor just keeps improving the longer it cooks. So there you go. Slow cooker chili. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.